All right, now I'm just going to set a trap. I've got two here, and the bait is just bacon rind I'm using. Now, these traps will come with a little bait holder, just attached to the inside. So it's really easy. All you need to do is just open that up. So easy you can do it one-handed. Oh look, there's a bit of steak I had. Trimmed off. Throw that in. Close it up. And what I generally do is just tuck one end underneath. Just like that. All right, so that's baited. And then just close it over. Hang on. Hard with one hand. Close it over and then You'll have two little hooks on either side. All right. And that's ready to go. So when you cast it in with the line, make sure you've got a good grip on the end so you don't just throw it in and then lose it. And away you go. And check them every couple of hours and you should be right. These ones are actually quite good. You can see the hoops are up off the ground. Not like the old ones where this was all loose. So once they're in, they're pretty much in. All right, and we'll be back with some yabbies. All right, bear with me. It's, um, I'm doing this one-handed and it's windy. All right, so you've got your pot up. There's a few in there. Now, if you're not fussed about like sorting through the small from the large ones, you just want to get them out and then put them in a bag, freeze them, etc. Easiest thing to do, tip it up on one end, just give it a couple of taps, make sure they all fall to one end, and then undo the clips. Now where are we? All right, like that. Have your bucket ready. Sorry, one hand. And then, <laughs> Just tip them all. And because I did it one-handed, they basically all just came out. So, make sure you use two hands so you can get them all in there. Oop, and there's one. Oh, there you go, there's a little one. Good bait size. But too small for me, so I'll chuck him back. But all the other ones, that's fine. All right, so yeah, two-handed, easier. <laughs> all right, today on the video, I just want to show you quickly how to pick a um, freshwater cray up, or a yabby, or a crawfish, wherever you live. You can see now. Look, when you get close, if I put my hand there. They'll start flailing about. So obviously all this part here is dangerous. You get nipped by one of these claws. And I've been nipped a few times over the years, so it does hurt. Easiest thing to do, come in from behind. See, the claws can only go so far back. All right, so come in from there, grab like that. See, it won't get you, they can't go back. And you can just make sure their claws are forward, all right? And just pin them. The little claws, on the side, hang on, the legs, the other legs, they won't, they're not strong enough to actually like pierce your skin and let's get a really big one. It's usually just those two. All right, so just grab it from behind. So when it's there, come in, take your time. If you're not sure, just let it go. Come in, keep those claws forward and pick it up from there. All right, cool. All right, now, I know it's a bit dark in here, I'm hoping you can see. All I've done, just got a plastic bag, all right? I've got some yabbies that I've caught. Now, don't try and pick them all up individually, there's no point. You can just tip them all in, all right? All right, make sure they're all in at the base. Give it a couple of turns, tie a knot, if you can, there you go, alright, freezer, 
straight in. It's as easy as that. All right. Now we've put the yabbies, I put them in the freezer, which to me is the most humane way to kill them. Some people just put them in the hot water alive, and I'm sure they die pretty quickly, but I prefer to just put them in the freezer. They get in there, it's cold, they think it's winter, they go into a sleep hibernation, then they just freeze and it's all over. So, you can see here, look, I've got these in a bowl, in a plastic bag. Now this is the easiest way to go. I've got my water boiling. All right, so all I need to do, now I've only got a small pot, so I'm gonna to have to do these in a couple of batches. So, we'll grab them out. So you can see, frozen all over. Pop them in. Try and get a good size one there. Chuck that in. Might even get them all in. Oh, yeah. I'll chuck the claw in too. All right, we'll cover this back up. Um, I'll let that go for a few minutes. They'll turn it bright red, and then we'll go from there. Cool. All right. Now once you've cooked your um, yabbies, crawfish, whatever you want to call them, this is the easiest way I find to clean them, okay? So make sure you've got a bag, have them in the sink, make sure you've got a bag for all the shells, and you can see I've just done one here. All right, now the sink, the easiest way is just to have the water running a little bit. All right, now just pull the tail off, give it a little rinse, now this part of the tail itself here, sometimes you can squeeze that and pull it and you'll get the vein out as well, but not always. Now all I do is just crack and then pull apart, just like that, alright, that'll just come out. And then the vein at the back, pull it out like that. You can keep that flap as well, there's nothing wrong with that. And just give a little rinse. Oops. Into the bowl and that's it. Easy.